I have a document open here called root map, which you'll find from the working folder. And the aim of the next couple of exercises is to image trace colored PNG artwork that starts out as pixels, of course, and then will transform into vector artwork. The uh, second artboard on the right hand side is empty at the moment. So I'm just going to left click on that with my selection tool that makes that active, that uh, artboard. And then I'll go to view and choose fit artboard in window because we're going to import some artwork onto this artboard and then use the image trace feature that we looked at very briefly in the previous chapter, but we're going to explore it in more detail now. I'll go to file and then I'll choose place to import some artwork. Um, I will then go to uh, the next level up, which is AI intro into the info folder with a double left click. And then we're going to import this piece of artwork here called map icons.png. Down at the bottom, make sure that link is turned on and then click on place. It loads the artwork into the cursor and then you can take your uh, cursor and then just hover over the top left corner up there and left click. It fits on the artboard nice and neatly. And we have the pink X running through the middle of it, indicating that it is imported artwork. On this occasion, we're not going to go down to quick options at the bottom and click on image trace. I'm actually going to go up to the window menu and then go to the full panel for image trace, which is just here. So starting at the top, you have a series of icons. These are presets. So based on what you are about to trace, you can start from here. And that's what I would tend to always recommend. So you can pick from options like um, high color. If there's lots of costs, lots of color in the artwork, low color, grayscale, black and white, and then outlines. In our case, well, we're dealing with sort of maybe four colors in here, really. So we're going to go to the low color option and left click on that just to trigger the preset and get underway. We're going to fine tune this, of course. Now, the reason we're going to fine tune it, not least, is because details like the castle, the corners we've lost, it's rounded off a lot of details in there. So what I would suggest at this point is go down to the bottom and turn off preview. Every time you change an option in here, you're going to have to wait for Illustrator to redraw the artwork and its attempt to trace it. And this is just much quicker. In terms of colors, well, we only have sort of four in there. So I'm going to go to five just to be on the safe side. And then at lower down, we have uh, under advanced options. If I click on that, three sliders that we need to work with. So that starts with paths, corners, and noise. In terms of paths, this is all about a range from low to high. How close do you want your vector artwork when it's made to match the original artwork in terms of details and things like that. So in this case, you know, we have lost quite a bit of detail. So I'm going to drag that over towards the right hand side. Probably going to go to yeah about 90% in there, then down to corners. So is your artwork or the portions that you need to use in that artwork, do they contain more curves or is it made up predominantly of corners? Well, it's really a mixture between the two, but having looked at the tracing in here, we've got lots of curves in there. So we need to get some of those corners back. So in terms of corners, I'm going to drag that all the way back up to sort of 90 percent in there as well. And then um, the last slider in here is called noise. Now, what that relates to is detection size. And uh, so something in this illustration would have to be 15 pixels in diameter to be detected by Illustrator and then turned into vector artwork. If it's 14 pixels or smaller, it will be ignored. Now, in our case, we don't have any very small details in there, so we can leave that slider set to 15 pixels. I would tend to suggest that if you do your tracing and you think that something's gone missing, then just lower that noise value to pick up the smaller details. In here, then we've got method, which is two of which very important in here. You've got a butting or you've got overlapping. Essentially, the default is called a butting. So what it will trace and what it will give you as vector artwork is only what you see. So if you were to vector trace this and then you were to move the yellow bicycle out of the way, behind it would be what looks like a purple rounded rectangle, but there would be a bike shaped holding it. So it really depends what you wish to do the artwork. If you wish to use the bike and that kind of symbol and you wish to get a bit of flexibility, then I would suggest you would go to something like overlapping. And what Illustrator will do is it will guess what needs to happen behind different colors. 
And in the case of overlapping, then if we were to move the bike, the yellow bike out of the way, it would then be a solid, what looks like purple rounded rectangle. Now we don't need that kind of flexibility in here. I will show you the outcome of both of those as it happens. But for now, I'm going to leave it set to a butting. So it only renders and creates vector artwork for what we can see right now. Down towards the bottom then, um, under options, I am going to turn on the checkbox for snap curves to lines. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to lose all of the curves. It just means that if we've got what are very close to being straight lines, it will just straighten them up for us. And then ignore white, well, we can turn that on and it will um, not render a shape for the white plain background. You do get a rundown of what it will generate before you turn it into vector artwork. So here you notice it's going to generate 35 paths, 447 anchor points and 14 colours. That was as per the previous settings. But now when I click on trace, it will update. And now you'll see that we have far less anchor points and anchors and paths and colours. So we've gone down to four now. And you'll notice that we have got our corners back. So we've got the nice angular corners in that artwork and it's closer now to the original artwork.